Green Flag in here, Green Flag is out. Oh, and Deuce locks it up, Peters drives to the inside. And Peters passes the cone on the inside of the cone. Oh, and Deuce locks it up, Peters drives to the inside. And Peters passes the cone on the inside of the cone. Oh, and Telfell makes contact with Peters. As Telfell and Peters make contact with each other. Oh, and they split the 77 floor. Oh, and contact between Cox and Connery. Out of turn four, check your fucking hands. Your winner, the one armed bandit, Quinn Borison. Second place gonna go to Matt Somerville. Well, we caught up with uh, two kind of special races for two young racers here at Evergreen Speedway and the Monroe Grocery Outlet Super Stock Figure 8 Division. Matt Somerville, second place finish. Pretty big week for you and your family. Have a new baby boy at home and a third place finish. You got to be happy about that. Yeah, it was great. Uh, something I've been thinking about all week, how fun it'd be uh, to be up there on the podium with the new baby and uh, my wife, and I'm just glad it somehow worked out. Talk about how it is for you as a racer to have your wife be so supportive and be here on a week like that. Yeah, it's just awesome. Um, just shows her passion for the sport and that we're, you know, fortunate enough to, to share it. And it was just so exciting to be here and, and be up on the podium and have Dawson racing side by side with me. Um, second or third generation figure eight driver. It's just awesome. Dawson, for you, kind of a big moment for you. You've been so uh, good in the, in the Hornet cars and done really good in the Stingray cars, but making your first super stock figure eight division uh, debut tonight. New car, how was it? Uh, it's definitely a huge transition. You can't save it like a front wheel drive car. It's snappy, loose, it's just, everything's different. It's, it's just a blast to drive, a whole new experience. And you got to race with your dad. How was that out there? It looked like maybe in practice, your dad was trying to go after you a little bit. Yeah, he was having some fun. It was, it was a blast. All right, two special weekends for these young guys here. All right, green flag in hand, green flag is out. Oh, and Curtis and Stelz make contact. Curtis and Stelz are still making contact. And Larson goes around Curtis and Stelz. As we're all attached there, the 74 and the 67 are attached. They're stuck together. Oh, and Stelz runs Curtis into the tire. Stelz runs Curtis straight into the tire. Check and flag your winner, says Bundin. Second place, Zach Larson. Third place, gonna go to Mike Stelz. Green flag in hand. We're green. Four wide into turn one. The 63 views way up high on that 63 car. Views to the lead in that 63. Views comes up and shuts the door and shuts down Nysinger. They go into turn one. Oh, and Nysinger goes way high on the outside of Muse around the lap car. Nysinger way up high. Let's get on Muse. They're still side by side at the corner. Muse goes down low high and slides on the inside of Nysinger. Muse to the lead still. Lap car right there once again. Oh, Nysinger uses it. Out of turn four. Check a second hand. Second place, Corey Carpenter. Third place, Burt Johnson. Well, it was a fun night for the West Coast Sprint Cars here at Evergreen Speedway as they took the 3 8 track, and Cameron Nysinger gets the win. Cameron, it was a, a tough butt out there, especially between you and Tyler Muse early on. Yeah, it was a real tough competition. He drove me hard. He rode me clean, though, so I'm thankful for that, and I can't thank the guys enough for uh, all having a clean race, not bumping and banging too much. Uh, clean racing when it came to lap traffic. Uh, it was a tough, tough go at it from the rear. Uh, 11th or 10th or whatever we started the first. That was a, that was a blast. I love working traffic.
Talk about what it feels like to get the win here at your home track of Evergreen Speedway, so close to home. You only get a race here a couple times this year. Yeah, we was second time out. We ran here with the uh, the Roy Price Group uh, and uh, did pretty well uh, for an uh, for an iron car. But uh, it feels real good to come and run with the Westco guys, uh, get our win here. Uh, it's been great. It's, uh, we had a tough go at it at the beginning of the season, blowing up our iron engine. We blew up a limited or an uh, open car. Uh, so we had a little bit of a, a struggle the first few races, but the last few races have been real good to us. We're on a winning streak of four right now. All right, your winner in the West Coast Sprint Cars, Cameron Nysinger. Green flag is out. So a good start throughout the field. With Thomas and Barber side by side, battle for position. Thomas, get an inside line. Barber way up high now. Jetson in front of him, battling for position. A three-car battle for the lead. Here comes Barber on the, ins on the outside. Thomas on the inside. Three wide near the back stretch for the lead. It's Barber up high. Thomas on the inside. Thomas goes low. Oh, they go big contact with Barber. Here comes Jetson back below on the inside. What a battle at Evergreen Speedway. Mini stock right in front of the leaders. Oh, so he shows up a little bit. Here comes Barber on the inside. As she goes low, Barber goes high, Thomas, oh, and Barber takes out Thomas. They take out each other, they both spin. No caution comes out, oh, shoe car makes the contact. Green flag in hand, green flag is out. Thomas once again gets the advantage. And checkered flag is out, your winner, Brad Thomas, second, Nat Barber. Third, Pete Jensen. Green flag is out. As they all bunch up there. Three wide in the pack. Oh, Smith gets sideways. And Reardon goes all the way around. All oh, the good done by Reardon. He shoots to the inside. Andrew's still your leader. Reardon now looking the inside, side by side for the lead. It's Gary Reardon. Reardon shoots to the outside lane of that two car. And Vaughn gets sideways right in front, up in front of our third place driver, Corbett. Checkered flag in hand, your winner, Cody Hoops. Second place, Jamie Corbett. Third, Jason Wilson.